I know what you're thinking. Bean, you haven't played Fyodor for years, and you would be correct. The footage that you're about to see was recorded nearly two years ago, and it's the ending to the Fyodor series that I'd done in Ark Survival Evolved. We're about to condense five episodes into one video for your viewing pleasure. We're going to cut down as much of the bull crap as it is, and you can enjoy some old school Bean commentary with no face cam back in the day of Ark Survival Evolved. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's definitely taken two years to get here and it's just been sitting on my hard drive. All right, enjoy the video. The beginning of the end has been left at my doorstep to the sheep pen. I have respawned to see this beautiful face and within it are some magical items that I will show you, but that will have to wait for the end of the video. So welcome back to another video, human beings. Today, we're going to be taking on one of the bosses, and we're going to be going after the brood mummy today. It's about time that we embrace tech armor. Let's go. We have the tech helmet on. We have a tech gun with us. We've got the little tech rifle. Very awesome. All these megatheriums are all the same level of 357. What happened is I put them in the little cryopods like this, and then they just leveled up over time. It's been that long. And then I just quickly leveled them all up, and we're all ready to do the gamma boss fight. We're literally just using 20 megatheriums. I haven't got any UTs or anything. I'm sure this may be an issue, but uh, we'll be fine. There we go. Attack, Sloth Army! Big Sloth Army! Let's see what damage they're doing. That is not... What am I stuck on? I'm stuck on me sloths. Get in there, me sloth. Ideally, we need to surround it. So what we're going to do is chuck one here. So now once these start to kill... There we go. And then attack this guy. Attack this guy. Surround it. That's it. We've got a bunch of numbers popping up. I haven't actually taken a hit yet. But let's, uh, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. So as the little creatures come in there, they'll hit them. They'll then get the little buff that they'll get for a little while and they'll start doing some crazy damage. Let's spin around. I think this is going to be over pretty quick, to be honest. Look at that. Easy, easy, lemon, squeezy. The gamma is dead. And there we have it. The brood mummy on its stand looking epic with the flag. Awesome. Let's go check out what we got. This is a super quick episode, but make sure the like button. The sloth army took months to breed. So I'd appreciate it if you smash the like to show your appreciation of it. And let's have a look what's in the beginning of the end, which is a reference to the beginning of the end of your door server, because we are close to the end. And here we go. We have the final ones of the Desmodos. Oh, my God. This is from the breeding labs from Nikki. And as you can see, Bean is Terrors level 810. There's no way there's 2,275 mutations. This is the most mutations I've ever seen on a creature. And 1,334 melee. That is insane. We've also got some ghost skins. We need those for the dire wolf. And we got Nick's fried griffin. <laughs> Which has also got 90 mutations. And then finally, we've got lava lizard, Grenbe Grenbean, and Rocky Tash. <laughs> this was the last Desmodos from the breeding labs. Looking very awesome. Should we have a look at the new ones? The superior ones. Let's check this guy out. Oh my life! That looks insane! It's pure black! And it's colored the saddle. That looks insane! I'm absolutely in love with that. This is the best colors. I can't even I can't even compete with that. They are insane. I love the Joker colors, but these. Pure black. Oh, that's that's beautiful. We've also got these griffins! Oh, they're metal griffins! I didn't realize. Yes, boy. This is like insane because I really wanted I really wanted to mutate mine and I gave up trying to get good colors. But Nick went through with it. And that looks absolutely insane. We've got to breed a couple of these for next episode. The Lava Lizard. Oh my god, that's insane. I mean, I'm lagging quite a bit, but... Oh, there's even color of the saddle. The coloring of saddles just makes all the world a difference. I'm just too lazy to do it all. But look at this. Dude, that's awesome. Look at the stats on this beast. I didn't need to get one of these as a video, but... I mean, this might just... We won't need to anymore. <laughs> This is crazy. So we got to say a big thank you to Nick's Breeding Labs. These are insane. I mean, if he had a YouTube channel, I'd share it out because he does some insane breeding. Uh, but this guy looks... <laughs> I actually love this guy. I love all of them, but this guy. On to the next boss, I say. We should just get straight into it. Let's go! Straight into the Wyvern's Trench. Down that little gap down there for us to get ourselves some magma sore eggs. We're going to be doing this on Rex back. That is the aim, at least. We're going to be jumping on the Rexes. I was expecting more of a dramatic let's go situation. Any Wyverns around here? No? Nice. Now, this guy could probably take on every Wyvern. Look at the color on that. Yeah, come up here, boy. I want to... Sh oh, I just made it to the lava! I've tapped out. Oh, I'm just, I think I'm just need to kill this guy. 
Oh no, we're fired. We got loads of health. <laughs> and as like, you can see, this Desmodos is insane, and we're just gonna go beat this. We're just gonna bully this wyvern. I just wanted to demonstrate the awesomeness of Nikki's lab, where this uh, where this uh, beautiful Desmodos came from. I summon Project Zero. Let's go. This is the final Rex for the boss fight. Let's go, Project Zero. Just have a look at this beefy boy. It's purple and green with a bit of white underneath. A butterful. That's what it is. It is butterful. And we're going to go in balls deep into the helm of lava. And we're going to go pick up some Magmasaur eggs. I don't even know if my Rex can survive this. So let's hope that Project Zero can survive. Oh my god, there's a rock golem. No. Lava rock golem. What the frick? That was like a phoenix. Was it a phoenix? Oh, it, was just, it was just a really shiny bat. Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's carry on down here anyway. Now, I think it's... I think it's just... Oh, bro, leave me alone. I'm glad that they're so slow. I cannot... I probably could not take that guy on with my wreck. Oh, no. There's another one. And it's popped out. Oh, yeah. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, you, you start. Oh, my God. Never got the back one. Oh! I'm so sorry, Project Zero. This this might be... This might be the end. We're, we're now going to test the true powers of the wreck. Oh, my God. Oh, that's 100 damage. I hope you're such a low level. Oh, jeez. I just got set on fire. I don't know what's more important to fight right now. This guy's doing hardly any damage. But that fire damage. Holy smokes. Oh, at least we're doing a thousand damage. Are we doing a thousand damage to that guy? Who am I hitting? I just nibble all of you. I am Rex. This is Project Zero. And I can't, I can't shoot off the back of a Rex. So I can't use my shotgun. I'm a little bit scared to jump off, to be honest. Especially with that guy that has clearly just seen me and now he wants to join the fight. Well, at least the lip is saving me there. They actually, the magma souls have to get pretty close. Oh, jeez. Why would you do that? I gotta turn my attention to this guy. One sec. Oh, damn, that was low level. Beautiful. Eat shit. Yeah, boy. I know what he did. Oh, my God. That, that literally just peppers him. It does nothing. It does nothing. Lasers. Oh, jeez. All right, let's, uh, with my 10k less health, let's take on all these guys. Oh, boy. This was definitely a good idea. And I'm going with pure strength. We're going to just go and kill everything. Rob eggs and get out. Uh, I'm trying to turn around here. It's like trying to turn on a truck. Hi, right, mate. I'm just trying to turn around. Oh, I died again. Oh, they set me on fire. Ah! But not with it. Don't fall into the lava, though. Project Zero, do not fall in the lava. Nice. 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 All we gotta do is take this guy on. As long as it doesn't shoot its fire. <laughs> shoot. Oh, it shot its load all over us. <laughs> okay. Okay, good Rex. Good Rex. Rex! Calm. Calm. Calm yourself. Calm yourself, boy. Oh, we've got the full armor on now, boys. I need to take another one of these. Okay, so we know that uh, we can now burn. Oh, there's an egg right there. Hallelujah. Can we run across this red dying too much? Ooh. No, oh, there's so many over here. Hey, back off. Back off. That's not it. Yes, boy. Oh, my God. Shots from the sky. I can't kill you. Ah, no, 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 no. Run out the way. No. I didn't sign up for this. Oh, what a wait. Beautiful. Oh, where are you going, Rex? Come back. Right, Project Zero. Oh, my God. Eh? Oh, my God. I went too far. I went too far. Come on, there's models, there's models, there's models. Come on, go, 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 go. We've got the egg, I don't care no more. We've got the egg, let's get out of here. Project Zero saved. Woo, woo, dodging. Look at all these guys. I haven't even been able to make it over here. Oh, I've been hit. Oh, we're going down, we're going down. Mayday, mayday. Woo. Thank you so much for the egg, goodbye. Woo. <laughs> Yeah, I said I wasn't going to do this on Desmodos. I lied. Screw this cave. <laughs> I'm just dying of heat. I'm being shot by lava shots. I'm done with this. Let's go back to base. I want you to ignore the bad frame rate and all of this. This is a video idea. <laughs> okay, so my research has led me here. We're back into the Baylor boss cave where there's uh, potentially a lot of honey to collect from. As you can see, there's a lot of honey in here. We're just going to clear these guys up real quick. Is this guy really good at gathering honey? Because I've read everywhere. I've read on Reddit and some people have said in the comments that he's actually great at collecting honey. Right, so we're in the cave. There's these little... Honey little cone things here. We're just going to like left click on them and see if they're actually that good. So we've got some stone. Got some more stone. We've got organic polymer. I didn't see any 
honey though or was it polymer farm hold on oh it's not honey it is polymer <laughs> i've read my i read my notes wrong now this guy seems to be average i mean this guy's a little bit op but he seems to be averaging 100 per honeycomb type thing these little hives anyway that's the uh mag look at this guy he looks sick that's the magmasaur it looks absolutely insane i love it i have 210 dire wolves to be exact right here and we're going to be taking on skull and hattie and try and defeat them all with just our 210 dire wolves I am not sure if this is possible, but I had this idea back when Fjordor first dropped. I wanted to fight Skull and Hattie with just a direwolf army. And that is what I've got, my friends. So we're going to leave our Desmodos here and we're going to chuck our backup into the Desmodos. And we have chucked our two Gigas, War and Thunder, into the Desmodos as a backup for when this inevitably fails. Now, I don't know if this is possible, but just because it's taken so long to set up and prep, I think you should hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos on the channel like this. This is part of the Fjordal Let's Play. These have all been bred and imprinted. I didn't imprint them. I used S plus Nanny to imprint them. None of them have been leveled because there were 200 of them and I do not have a lifetime to do that. And now we're going to head the post with the Direwolf Ghost skin. And um, yeah, we're going to go and attack Skull and Hattie. Let's get into it. We're going to spawn it. Let's go. Run back. Oh my god, here they come. <laughs> okay, we want all you guys to be whistle my a target. Attack my target. Okay, you all understand. You're over here as well because there's a lot of you. Attack my target. There's two of them. Dire wolves. Let's go. Oh my god. The frames. The frames have gone. But let's go. Squad, we sort of need to get the fire one first. I don't really know what's going to happen. Should we have a look at the damage markers? Oh my god. We're actually doing it. The dire wolf army. Let's do a little howl. Oh, the fire. Oh, I've been warned about that. Oh my god. That is a lot of damage. Oh, there's so much going on. Look at all these pack leaders. <laughs> the dire wolf army. Oh my god. We need to encircle them. We need to circle them. We've got our first dire wolf down. Oh, ah. oh my god. This is insane. Fenrir, go away. Oh my god. All these guys at the back aren't doing anything. But we have nearly killed one. Come on, Dire Wolf Army. We've killed one. Let's go. Everyone attack this one. Let's go. Dire Wolf Army is getting absolutely destroyed. Skull Hattie is gone. The Dire Wolf Army, I can't believe this is actually happening, is killing Skull. And it's done. It is done. No freaking way. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Everyone just bugger off for a sec. Oh my. Let's just. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that to work. That's amazing. We actually only lost 15. So we're going to do this again. <laughs> so the majority of these dire wolves do have some mutations. We've got, I think we've got about eight health and about seven melee mutations in the majority of these dire wolves, some of them I had to make up the numbers, so we just chucked in so many old dire wolves that were like breed jacks. Oh boy, who just attacked us? Dude, it's over for you. I don't know what attacked us, but it's gone. I know that much. <laughs> oh, this is this is actually amazing. We could we could completely run Asgard with this team. Okay, because I can't be asked away today, we're gonna try and spawn them in. There we go, we've just spawned them in again. <laughs> awesome. Well, it should be both of them. Let's go, squad. Let's do it again. Oh, boy. It just ran for everyone. This is a laggy mess. But let's uh, let's check it from the skies. Let's be commander in the skies. A lot of them still howling. We need a couple to move around here. Let's move around the back. That's it. That's it. Break them up. And then scoop in. There we go. There was a lot of lag. But we've had a few direwolves die this time. These might have been the survivors from last time. But they are absolutely demolishing. They are doing, like, it looks like a thousand health, like a thousand damage per attack. Dude, these guys could probably do loads of these. Seriously, we probably could have done this with, like, 50 direwolves. There we go. One down. Let's have a look at the chaos that's happening. Jesus Christ. Now, his health just gets demolished. Once you got one of them, the other health just goes. Look at these guys. Oh, my God. Just look at the numbers. His health cannot last. Oh, Jesus. Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the 210 direwolves can kill 
Skull and Hattie. There's a lot more that died that time. There was a lot more that died, but there's still a lot there. <laughs> so that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's fun. Anyways, that is the video that I've been planning since Fjordor came out. Uh, that's actually quite insane when you think about it. I've been, I've had this idea in my head. It was Skull and Hattie, two massive direwolves, essentially. The Fenrir wolves, sort of. And uh, yeah, I really wanted to see if we could just take it on with direwolves, regular direwolves. Uh, the answer is yes, they've done really well. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode for next day. Today's episode, we will be joined by Tashkor, Nikki, and Zeus, three of the awesome server members, as we go and take on the Alpha Brood Mother, the Alpha Monkey, and the Alpha Dragon, all in one swoop. Let's get into the video. Jeez. I feel like 5k damage right now. Yeah, the bleed damage. I might have to take numbers off. There's way too much numbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, one of my mega sloths are gone already. And oh, there we go. Well done. One boss down. Two more to go. Saying that, though, actually. How much, how much did I lose? Oh, I lost more than one. One, two, three, five. four, five. Come on. <laughs> look at coming down for us. He is. But I'm stuck on all your exes. There we go. Oh, okay. 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 This is disaster. Just don't attack. Just move over your way. What damage is that? Why are my guys so weak? What is this? Oh, what the hell is wrong with my rectors? I have no clue. My rectors just wandering off. <laughs> the, the, they're just sleeping on the job. <laughs> oh, my rex is dead. The poor Rexy. Oh, one of them. One of your rexes were attacking for a moment. Jeez. Oh, I'm out. Leave them alone. Are you on like a, do you have a group set or something? Oh, you might have moved to a group. Yeah, group. group. I didn't think about that. To be fair, if he keeps attacking your Rex, I can just nibble his uh, ankles. Double tap your oh, number oh, zero. Rex army! <laughs> the saviors. I had to get off by easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, sorry about all that. I don't know why I couldn't do it while I was on the UD, but. Oh my so God. Good. Look how easy this is now. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> My That's five nice. puny Rex has done a quarter. Yours just like take it out pretty quick. <laughs> Let's go. Alpha Dragon. I'll be riding the Battle Pig provided by Nikki. The Dionicus Army. The Magmasaur. And Rexes and Karen. We need that Karen. Look at them all just bite his ankles. It's a beautiful yeah. sight. This worked out well. Oh my god, yeah. This guy's just got destroyed. Look at that. <laughs> wow. The ankle biting work. And there we have it. There are three alpha bosses that have been defeated. The Brood Mummy, the Megapithecus, and the Dragon. It's been super fun. But we got one episode left in the series. The, the little mammoth is sitting down. Don't worry. Just go over there. Don't worry about it. Just go and fight. Go, go and help, Rexes. Go, go, go over there and help. <laughs> go do something. Earn your paycheck. Almost there. Super easy. <laughs> the yeah. video is going to be like five minutes long. I'm going to just go in for the final bit. Let's go! For that final punch! I got Mjolnir. Yeah! Oh, I, I did. I got a Fenrir. I didn't even know that was a reward. I'm not gonna lie. That, that's insane. Yeah, Where's his body? I mudge your face! I'll take on the little guy as well. Everyone else takes on the guy. One died, but everyone, everything else. And uh, there we go. <laughs> I lost one. That's. I lost two rexes right. for the second time. I mean, at least we got through it again. I just want to see if you've got. If you, you got to guess the stats. What stats have you got? Which one has the highest stat? Stamina. Stamina. Okay, let's have a look. What do you say, Tash? Something useless. Wait. Uh, that's there. not that useless. There you go. Well, this is it. This is the final bit of the series. Fjordor has actually been super fun, and I'm glad that we've managed to finish it together. We have Fenrir Wolf right here, which you get from defeating the boss fight. Thank you to everyone that joined me on the boss fight. It is a few days later that I'm recording this, so this guy has a bunch of levels. Uh, but let's just uh, let's have, just have a look around the base. So this is a beautiful base uh, with the gotcha farm. Loads of good memories on this server already. I just wish that I played it a little bit more. We've got all the boss trophies here now, which is insane. 
looking awesome with the flags i'm loving it we've basically finished fuel though all the breeding projects have been shut down so these are just the females that have been left around um all the breeding projects are done the gotcha farm will be shut down later but let's go and test out fenrir wolf because this is what you get for defeating the boss it's sort of like the end game thing and honestly it's a little bit it's not as good as i was expecting so there is a corner over here we're just going to go over and show our left click abilities and that level is 270 so it's like a max tame and it does it was doing about 180 200 damage ish on an average creature which isn't too bad it also has some abilities if you hold down c it will change form into this guy and i believe this gets it this increased armor foes of fur uh, inflicts damage to attackers and drents and grants freeze immunity so, I mean, so he gets it a little bit. I mean, it doesn't look any more powerful, but it's a little bit more bulky. I mean, yeah, we demolished that guy. And it looks sick. I don't think there's a time limit on this either. You can just literally just be in this mode for as long as possible, which is, in my opinion, the best mode that you can be in. I think this guy looks insane. All in all, though, on a disappointing level, this guy is basically like a dire wolf, just a little bit more chunky. A chunky dire wolf. All in all, this dire wolf... I, I mean, it's not dire wolf, it's a Fenrir wolf. <laughs> I even get confused. It looks amazing. It's not utilized. You can't utilize it very well in the game, but it does look amazing. And uh, as we overlook the beautiful Nordic Sea, um, I'm going to be signing off from the series. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe for the next series, which is going to be a modded adventure. I'm thinking Primal Fear or something along those lines. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, bye!